And welcome back to what or WTF is MMT. I am reading from uh, Money Ma uh, Making Money Work for Us uh, MMT Can Save America by L. Randall Ray. Now, what Progressives is currently doing a um, book club featuring this book. And I'll show you what it looks like. If you don't know, I have a good mug, but anyway, there we go. Anyway, so I'm on page 24, uh, and they uh, so far has gone through like A B A's and uh, I don't even see right now. But I'm at pretty much the bottom of 24 page that is. We can think of this number four. Uh out of I'm not sure how many is here, but anyway. We could think of continuum of a continuum of money debt or better a three-dimensional money uh tetra. Hydron with three important characteristics. And just so you know, the the word the word I was trying to pronounce is uh, is uh, spelled T E T R A H E G D R O N. So for me, it's not easy. But anyway, uh, with three important characteristics: a liquidity, b transfer transferability, or c yield. These three characteristics are closely linked, linked, but can be analyzed separately. A. Liquidity refers to the ability to convert the asset to cash quickly and with little loss of value. <clears throat> Here we take currency as the referent. Uh, it is the most liquid money asset. A demand deposit can be uh, quickly converted to cash with little to no loss of value. That is, you can go to your bank's ATM and immediately withdraw cash from your account, usually without a fee. If, however, you cannot get to your bank, you might be charged a fee at another bank's ATM. Along the liquidity dimension, we would put demand deposits close to cash. Time deposits, including savings deposits, are somewhat less liquid. Banks can impose wait periods for converting time deposits to demand deposits or cash, and they can charge fees. For example, there is usually a substantial penalty for withdrawing funds from a 90-day certificate of deposit. We place time deposits further out on the liquidity dimension. Bonds, including government bonds and corporate bonds, are even less liquid. While it is true that one can quickly sell U.S. Treasury or corporate bonds, they can be there, there can be fees involved, and the value of a bond is variable up to its mature date. Stocks equities can be sold quickly when the stock market is open, but there are, can be fees, and the value changes from day to day and even about minute by minute. Note that unlike bonds, stocks do not commit the issuing wait, uh, stocks do not commit the issuing firm to pay anything to the holder. These are not monetary debts, IOUs, in the same sense in which ban, uh, band, band, no, bank deposits or corporate bonds are promised to pay or are promises to pay. Rather, there are they are fractional ownership shares and the success or failure of the firm and may earn dividends, a portion of profits. In the event of the shutting down of a firm, shares provide the owner with a claim to res uh, residual value. If any remains after paying off higher, uh, higher order climates, other kinds of assets are typically Liquid, uh, less liquid, privately owned firms, houses, uh, used cars, collectible art, and productive machinery. Note that there are real assets, not financial assets, that are not monetary I IOUs.
they are not denominated in money, although they may be sold for money and we might assess a money value for them. Typically, it, does not uh, it takes time to sell them and the value is uncertain. We would put them farther out on the liquidity dimension. B. Transferability. First to the ability to pass the monetary debt from hand to hand. If you write an IOU of five dollars on a slip of paper and someone who knows you well will pre probably uh, probably accept it as a monetary debt. The holder of your IOU will keep it as a record of your debt. When your debt, when you when you later present five dollars saved in cash, you can receive back your IOU and tear it up. While it's unlikely the original holder could uh, could instead pass it at, pass it along to someone else who also knows you well, this could happen. For example, if the original holder owned that person five dollars. Owed, excuse me, that person five dollars. You would then pay the final holder of your IOU in order to get out of debt. It is not likely that you and that your IOU would pass among very many hands. However, when the government issues a monetary debt in the form of paper money or coins, that IOU is likely to pass through many hands before it finally returns to the government that issued it by design cash is highly transferable when most people think about money they think first about this characteristic a little more than a century ago banks also typically issued uh, paper notes and most people did not have deposit accounts those were for richer for richer people although today in most countries governments have monopolized the issue of paper notes in the old days, banknotes passed relatively easily from hand to hand, at least in normal times. During financial panics, however, they stopped circulating and a bank run might begin in which holders would submit them to the banks that issued them, demanding payment in cash, the current government's currency. Other money debts could also uh, circulate, often if they were endorsed by an institution or an individual, considered to be highly creditworthy. Historically, a variety of kind uh, wait, yeah, a variety of kinds of monetary debts circulated after endorsements as money that could be used to make payments. For example, merchants used to use, issue bills of exchange that promised payment at specific specific time and location and in de designated currency. Often these were used to finance the purchase of goods that would be sold at medieval fairs. They would promise to pay at the fair once the issuer sold the goods at the market. Sometimes their creditors prefer to sell the bills of exchange to get immediate payment rather than waiting until the, clo the close of the fair. They would sell them at a discount, less than the amount of promise, which effectively pro uh, represented an interest of payment to the purchaser of the bill. The purchaser might be a bank which could endorse the bill, adding a significant uh, uh, testing to a promise that the bill was good and either make a payment with it or sell it on uh, to the uh, to another bank again at a discount. With a sufficient number of such endorsement signatures, the bill would be signed to become a, a gilt edged as good as gold or gold coins, that is, a, as a means of payment. Because lots of credit worthy endorsers were on the hook, default by the original issuer was unlikely to lead to a loss as others had promised to make the debt good, making these gilt edged debts highly transferable. C. Yield refers to the monetary reward paid on debt. <clears throat> Cash earns no yield. It is said to be current, hence it is called currency. Because there is no term to maturity, it is instantly available to be used for purchase or payment of debt. 
generally speaking um, uh, generally speaking other financial assets must be must pay a yield to induce people to hold them in that sense yield is a reward earned for giving up the liquidity of cash all else equal the longer the term to maturity the greater that reward the preference for liquidity, what the economic, economist John Maynard Keynes called the liquidity preference, can vary through time. When optimism reigns in markets, liquidity preference may be low. Liquidity prefer, preference rises when financial markets participants begin to worry about their financial position. This will tend to raise the required reward to induce someone to hold less liquid assets. That is, interest rates will tend to rise to compensate for giving liquidity. In addition, certainty uh, payments varies due to the creditworthiness of the issuer. The greater the default risk, the greater the yield required to com compensate the holder. Modern lenders often use credit scoring to provide a, me a measure of the risk of default charging a higher interest rate at the lower the score uh, lower the score the ratings agency provide a similar service as they raise the credit worthiness of governments firms and securitized securitized loans such as mortgages these ratings go into determining the yield earning on the monetary debt modern credit instruments can be exceedingly complex in making circulation of the yield difficult. Still, for our purposes, it is sufficient to understand that those monetary debts thought to be safe and most liquid will offer the lowest yields. This is why cash pays ZIP and cyber government debt usually pays the, lo the lowest interest rates in the government's own currency given maturity, all else equal. A 30-year government bond will tend to pay higher or a higher rate than a two-year bond due to the longer maturity. Now we have gone to F, conclusion. So, what is money? First and foremost, it is the unit of account in which we measure nominal value. Like all units of measurement, the money of the account needs to be socially sanctioned. Whether the foot, whether the foot or the meter, the gallon or the liter, or the solar, or the, the solar month or the lunar month, in almost all cases, the money of account is chosen by governments and, typ and typically each nation has its own. We can't call it. We call it. Sorry, we call it the dollar in the U.S. Throughout history. Throughout history, we have used a variety of methods of keeping track of mo uh, money amounts. We have a kept records on clay tam tablets, on notched wood sticks, on stamped metal coins, on various kinds of paper, and the increasingly and increasingly in electronic form on computer hard drives. Among the most important records and money terms are the records of money, I, uh, debts, and credits. IOUs and IOU means. IOUs and UO means. Many of these records of debt are kept locked away in safety unit uh, until redemption day when they can be burned. However, some kinds of records of debt can be used in payments passing from hand to hand among third parties that played no role in the original recordings of the debt. <clears throat> Some of these records can be held as, as a store of money valued by third parties, and some can be used in payment of debts by third parties to other third parties. We have discussed the hierarchy of money liability, as well as the main characteristics that determine general acceptability of such IOUs, liquidity, transferability, and yield. You've got your choice, just how liquid do you want your portfolio to be, or to look at it the other way around. How much do we have to pay you to give up liquidity? The interest you earn holding a liquid asset is your reward for, for giving up liquidity.
That was Keynes' meaning when he used the phrase liquidity preference. You want maximum liquidity, then hold then hold cash. The government's IOU are you willing to give up some liquidity in other or in order to earn some interest? Then hold a certificate of deposit at an insured bank. You can get the cash in 90 days or even earlier, but you'll pay a substantial penalty for your or for early withdrawal. If you are uh, even more patient, if you are if you are even more patient, you can probably get a high return for holding a 10-year U.S. Treasury bond. Note that one or no, no note that none of these things we just listed has any risk of default. The bank liability is insured by the FDIC or Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, and the U.S. government will uh, government will not deposit cash or bonds. If you are willing to ins- to incur some risk of default, you can hold an uninsured liabilities of financial institutions or corporate bonds. They will pay you more interest for in, uh, incurring that risk. They might also be less liquid, so you can earn less liquidity. Premium two. Uh, see, da, da. Okay, there we go. Uh, hey, if you want even more risk and even less liquidity, except now you can complete stranger. Maybe you will. Maybe we want to reserve the word money for highly liquid IOUs that don't carry default risk. For many, pure purpose, uh, for many purposes, that makes sense. While anyone can create money that is right, uh, I would. That is, write IOU five bucks. Such debt are not equal in the eyes of the beholder. It is sensible to limit the term to government's currency, cash, and central bank reserves, and insured bank liabilities, checking and savings deposits, and purchase uh, perhaps some other way, uh, some other very liquid safe and short term. Liabilities uh, issued by a government by governments and financial institution. Those working in financial markets often uh, colloquially, colloquially, I guess, call these cash assets. We need to keep in mind that precisely what or precisely where we draw the line is somewhat arbitrary. In the next chapter, we will examine in the more detail to how. These are how those most acceptable IOUs may uh, make their way into the economy. We focus in particular on the liabilities issued by the government and by the special financial institutions that we call banks. While anyone can issue money, not all money is created equal. It is important to explore how the most privileged money IOUs are issued. Now, in Chapter 2, where does money come from? will be explored tomorrow. Come back and we'll go back, we'll go more in depth in El Rando Rays, making money work for us, how MMT can save America. You can also get this again from worldprogressives.org, which is in their bookstore. Just go up to the right hand side and I believe it's in media. And just go to the bookstore, or if you're in Canada, you can go to Spartacus.net, I believe, and they special order it for you. Thanks for listening, and once again, come back and see me. Peace out for now.